Hey guys, Mars Ninkin here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video and today we are going to be showcasing the physical Bojack, the World Tournament Reward. So unfortunately there wasn't a mass ban wave like there was last time and I did not quite make it into the top 1k. So unfortunately this is not going to be a rainbow showcase but he is at 90% and... Uh, I'm sure we know there's not a huge difference between 90% and Rainbow, but obviously I do intend to run this guy from now on as the link partner for LR Bojack, so I did really want him to be Rainbowed, because unfortunately we know that they don't add the World Tournament reward cards into the World Tournament SSR banner for at least a couple of tournaments after they are the prize, so he's not going to be on the banner for a while. And then even when he is, it's going to be that one in however many are on the banner chance for me to get that final copy. But hopefully, since all World Tournament units seem to get an awakening eventually, hopefully I can at least get that final copy uh, before he gets an awakening. So, but anyway, we are showing him off on the Movie Bosses team. Now, obviously, he can also be used on Resurrected Warriors. In, obviously in conjunction with the LR Bojack because I mean you could use him on extreme physical but I don't know if that's the best idea but Resurrected Warriors has a 170% attack leader skill movie bosses has 150 but movie bosses also has two turlers that you can use as support units who give 40% with their passive so overall uh, we're going to be getting bigger boosts to the Bojack rotation and then we have the Int Metal Cooler as the other floating support unit as well so the physical bojack was in the last spot so we're not going to see him until this next turn because turles finished off goku so i'm not going to bring up the wiki overlay since i did um do a more in-depth look at his stats on a video that i put out just before the world tournament so check that out if you want to see the full details of the wiki page but we'll look at him here so obviously i did give him the three dupes that I did get, got him up to 90%, standard physical unit build that isn't a support unit, so 15 crit, obviously he's got to have three dodge, and then eight additional. So he gives himself two key, attack and defense 70%, raises attack by up to 50%, the more HP remaining the greater the attack boost, I'm pretty sure we're almost on full health, uh, and he disables the enemy's guard when performing a super attack. He does supreme damage with said super attack. So as I covered in that video, he's an awesome link partner for the LR. As you can see, the LR already at 13 key. So let's give him all of those. And then I guess we can give Turles those. Yeah, we were, I think we were pretty much on full health. So let's see. Well, we're on a 1.1 million attack stat at 90% with the Turles on rotation. And okay, we're going to take a super attack on this guy. Okay. What's he going to take from Gogeta? Yeah, I, I expected him to take a decent amount from Gogeta, but taking less than 10k from the normal attack is actually very decent. And then, of course, he does boost the Bojack with Turles on rotation. Yeah, 2.5. <laughs> I'm not really surprised that they uh, finished the job there. So the reason why, specifically, that I brought these uh, guys into Boss Rush 5 is that the next fight we obviously have the physical Omega Shenron and one of the things I wanted to show which I did mention in the little video I did talking about these units I'm not going to give you a super so we can save those purples for the LR um, is that because he disables super attacks when you go against physical uh, sorry he disables guard when he super attacks when we go against a physical enemy if we have the physical Bojack attack first he disables their guard for the turn and then the LR Bojack will be able to hit without having type disadvantage. Which is very useful if you're in the situation that I am in. Where my LR Bojack has no dupes. So obviously he doesn't have access to crits. So when he comes up against physical enemies normally. He's going to be doing massively reduced damage. Because he has no way to bypass that type disadvantage. So this new physical Bojack allows him to do that by disabling the enemy's guard. So... Obviously in this setup in particular, we don't need to disable the enemy's guard, so we are not going to put the physical one in the first slot. 
Uh, we'll give you that, and then we'll give you those. If we can, I'm not too fussed about the dope mode, but we'll try and keep an eye on the bar. Because if we can, I would like to give it to the physical one, just to see how hard he'll be able to hit. But we're going to see his uses really come into play when we get to Omega. Another huge hit from the LR. Like I said, this is this guy's main attraction, like why I really wanted to finish in the top 1k this time and actually get all the copies of him. Because uh, obviously as I showed you, I put him up to 90% immediately. I absolutely would have immediately rainbowed this guy, but I guess we're going to have to wait. But okay, so we should probably get through this first one pretty easily. The other useful thing about the fact that he disables the guard is that it counts for his attack as well. So I think is the next rotation strength Omega or is it the, might be the AGLs in actually, but hitting into a strength opponent as long as you're getting a super attack, which is obviously how he disables their guard, then the Bojack will hit without worrying about type disadvantage. Obviously because this one does have duty, he does have access to 15 crit, but even if he doesn't crit he will still hit strength units without being affected by type disadvantage. So, yeah, we are going to go. Here's the AGL Sin next. And considering how powerful the Bojack rotation is, uh, pretty sure that we are going to one shot here. So, let's see his tanking against the AGL. Because I'm pretty sure that. Uh, Bojack's going to finish it over here. Let's not get that. I'm going to have to try and avoid picking up type specific orbs next turn if I do want to get the dope on attack with him. No. Still a million attacks that though. Pretty good. And yeah, taking only a couple of thousand. Three million attacks that for the Bojack with the Metal Cooler on rotation who's not as good of a support unit as Turl is. So, of course he gets absolutely blown away. Um, the only real reason for the this main rotation is I didn't want to bring units that were too powerful. So we've obviously got the... I do like the combo of Tech Golden Freezer and Tech Cooler. Going to use an item just to keep our rotations the way we want them. Obviously the physical cooler is much better than the Tech one, but I quite like this combo. In fact, let's put... Do they share a link? 1, 1, 2... They do. Sweet, so we'll leave him like that then. I was going to say, I was going to put the cooler in the first spot on the off chance that he might actually get a stun. But now, if we pick up this, we should avoid the Dokon attack. We won't get a super, but that should be fine. I mean, between the Tech Freezer and Tech Cooler, they might actually just take him out all by themselves, so... Yeah, that's right, you super attack one of the best tanks in the game. We'll take that. 16k, okay. Kind of forgot about the huge uh, damage reduction that Omega has if you don't have GT units, but... I mean, this is a good opportunity for us to see... Bojack hitting, like I said, he will disable the guard. Actually, no, I need to use Sensu. I need to use Sensu beans because I'm always getting to 999 and having to get rid of them. So, so yeah, the good thing about this is we're going to get the dope on attack with him, and we don't need to worry about him getting a crit in order to deal a decent amount of damage. The only thing we do need to worry about is my uh, usual issues with actually being able to hit dope on modes with the mouse. So. Hopefully it will be kind and go slow for me. Uh, let's find out. Okay, no, it did not. It went very quickly. <laughs> uh, it's the worst part about using the emulator. But Okay, so he's not going to hit crazy hard. But it would have been nice to see. But like I say, he is really only here as the support for the LR. But yeah, 600,000. <laughs> I mean, it would have been a lot less if it wasn't for his disabling guard ability, so... Because, yeah, even yeah, even LR Bojack only hitting for a million, that seems quite a lot lower than you would expect, so... No, 
man, this Omega loves messing up these rotations. It's why I bought the items that I did, so. Let's try and keep a bunch of purples together. And then next turn we'll be able to see that advantage that the Bojack gives to the LR by disabling the physical Omega's guard. Hey, and he's in a super attack golden freezer again. Perfect. 21,000. I always liked that cooler super attack. But, I mean, the physical one is by far the better Final Form cooler. Although the AGL one did just get his awakening from the World Tournament. And I did finally manage to pull a dupe for him from the tickets that we got at the end of the tournament with the rewards. So, probably record a showcase for him tomorrow. He only has one dupe, but he is a very interesting unit. So, obviously, we've got to put this Bojack first because we want to disable Omega's guard. And then we'll get this guy to go. And then might as well just give Turles all of those. Why not? So yeah, almost 1.1 million with the Turles on rotation. His guard is now disabled. He's still only hitting us for 10k. And considering he's the final stage boss, that is actually pretty decent. But now Bojack, not going to be hindered by type disadvantage. Obviously Omega still has pretty crazy damage reduction. But yeah, 727. Wow. Imagine how much less that would have been if we hadn't disabled his guard. Omega definitely is uh, a very tough opponent without the GT link. So, 100,000 damage to Teles. Okay. Oh, and Teles is going to transform. That's fine. It means we still got... This is our other rotation anyway, so we're still going to have a decent rotation with next turn, although he is messing with our rotations again. You know what? In fact, let us just leave Turles there. Since we can't, well, I mean, we can't really do anything about it anyway, but let's see how good the transformed Turles is going to be against this Omega. I mean, yeah, we all know once he transforms, he becomes quite an offensive and defensive beast, so taking double digits, and then, of course, unfortunately, <laughs> not being a GT unit, 1.2 million attack stat, though. That's the important thing. Omega doesn't take a lot of damage from these non-GT pairings. But, yeah, very high attack stat, double digits tanking. I I'm pretty happy with that. I do like Turles when he transforms. It's just kind of annoying because you pretty much always want to use him as a support unit. But, but anyway, there you go. That is the physical Bojack at 90%. Another important thing to remember that I did mention in that previous video, I'm going to link that at the end as one of the um, videos you can select. So do check it out if you want to see all of his details. And I do go over a lot more detail of how he would be very useful. One thing I did mention in that is you also have to remember, not only is this guy now the best link partner for LR Bojack, he's even better than the AGL one who is already a TUR. And that's the thing. That I mentioned very early in the video is at some point this guy will get an awakening so he will gain an extra 20 levels his passive I imagine will probably go up to at least 90% probably even three key to himself and he will pick up shattering the limit which will be another link he'll share with the Bojack so he's gonna be very very good but anyway let me know down below in the comments where did you finish in the world tournament how are you gonna use this Bojack have you put orbs into him already let me know and that is going to be it for the video. So this has been the Master Again, If you liked what you saw, smash that like button and subscribe if you are new. Follow me on Twitter or Instagram at the Master Ningen, or follow me on Twitch. My channel uh, link is in the description, as well as the link for my Discord. So join in and join the fun over there as well. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.